What's going on guys? It's Omni York and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be doing over 150 summons here in Infinity Kingdom. Now I've been saving up a ton of these philosopher stones so I can do these advanced summons for this video. I've saved almost every single philosopher stone since the beginning of this account. Now I'm not going to lie. I've bought some bundles here. Okay. I've bought some bundles and I've just been saving them up from quests and things like that. So we have 137 philosopher stones. And what that means is if you look in the bottom right corner, 10% off means that you spend nine stones and you get 10 summons. I can do this 15 times. So 15 times 10 summons is 150. Now, firstly, let's take a look at what we're, what we've got planned here. Okay. You guys know that I'm focusing mainly on water for the beginning of my account. Uh, we can look in here and we can see which of these are water element immortals. Really the only one I think is Herald that you can get from these uh, summons Yoshitsune. Did, did I say that right? I don't know. He is a back row water and I actually really would benefit from probably having him. Although Helen of Troy is hard to replace. She's very good. Anyway, we're looking really for water, but um, what this video is probably going to determine is what element am I going to focus on next, right? Because if I get a lot of a really good particular element in this, uh, in this big summon, then, you know, maybe that's what I focus on next. And I encourage you guys to do the same thing where, you know, wait a little bit to see how your luck, you know, where the cards fall, you know, how lucky do you get with a particular element? Uh, that's probably what you should focus on after water, but we'll acknowledge that in a later video. Another thing to know is that when you summon an epic immortal, they will start to then show up here in the market. As you can see, Ramses uh, did show up here. This was a thousand gems. I gladly did it because it allowed me to put another skill on him. So if you do get a ton of blues and greens and stuff that you don't need, just go ahead and convert them. And then you can use them to buy stuff in the market, which means you could effectively turn blues and greens into purples and gold. So really, really good to know. Okay. With all that out of the way, let's go ahead and start with our first nine gem summon so we're gonna watch this play out because i've never done a nine philosopher stone summon we should see 10 orbs so there it is there's 10 so what did we get this looks like our first full summon it's edward we already have edward so that's fine um we're gonna be able to put a skill on him i suppose he is a fire element and i don't know again i don't know if i'm gonna be using fire too much uh but we did get him so that's cool we got richard we got our boy richard i love that we got a lot of epics here. We got a lot of epic shards. That's really good to see. Now, Harold is the one that we're focusing on the most. I actually already have Frederick because during the initial seven day event with Helen of Troy, you do get an item for some gems that gives you a random epic immortal. And Frederick was the one that I got. So I already have Frederick. Um, so that's fine. I want Richard just because Richard is my logo from our, okay. So I'm excited for Richard. Okay. I don't know if he's good or not, but I'm excited for him. Barca is it is what it is and let's go ahead and do another resummon for nine philosopher stones what are we getting baby what are we getting a full epic summon would be ideal that is ideal it looks like we didn't get one here because we didn't see oh there it is wait are you serious is this barca did we just summon hannibal barca we just got we just got okay so we summoned Hannibal Barca. Now I'm interested to know, first off, I don't know if he's any good or not. Um, we did, let's see, cleave, uh, increases your damage by 39% and causes cleave. Each normal attack will cause 27% damage to an additional nearby target for eight seconds. I wonder that might be like, that could stack to a crazy amount. So I'm not really sure. I'll have to look into that. A lot of blues here, but we did get a full epic summon. Absolutely insane. Now, since I summoned him, I wonder if a bundle pops up. There it is. I knew it. Okay. So it looks like it's a $15 bundle and it's specific for that immortal. So that's kind of a bummer. If it's a $5 purchase, $2 purchase, or maybe even a $10 purchase, then it's like, okay, that's not that much money. And I'm, and I'm talking for me specifically. Of course, if you're spending in a mobile game, you should know your limits, your budget, things like that. But for me, you know, I think anything under 10 bucks or anything under $7, like that to me is like, if it's good value, I'm gonna buy it every single time, right? And it's only for Barca. And it gives you 30, which means it gives you one skill, right? So now that you summoned him, this $15 bundle will immediately give you that first skill unlock, which is good if it's a immortal that you care about, right? So it's, it's, you know, if this was some sort of universal soul crystal or something, then sure. I would be like a hundred percent all in. I could use those on somebody like Merlin or, you know, whatever. So I don't know. I think this is a good bundle. If it's a immortal that you care about, 
um if it's the you know this is the problem right it's the early game i don't know which immortals are good or not so i can't say and these are timed so you kind of get that fear of missing out right that fomo kicks in and you don't want to pass up on a bundle that could be good value if it oh my god we're gonna get we're gonna get even more we're gonna get even more summons you guys this is incredible okay so now i want to know if we summon another epic immortal are we going to see that bundle pop or does the game register that there's already a limited bundle there don't offer him another one that should be interesting hopefully it will pop because i'd be interested to buy one for for a commander that i care about right again i think that might be a good deal if it's someone you care about um here we see no epics so that's unfortunate <clears throat> but we did get a full summon of um i want to say this is herman but i i know it's not arminius yeah i believe he is from Germany. Yeah. So I think this is, I think we're on the same wavelength here, but this is restoring HP regen 135% and reduce physical damage. So he's tanky. He's got the shield man, right? He's got the defense attribute. So that's kind of expected, um, for him to be a little bit healy. So healy, that's a new word. We're going with healy. Let's do another, uh, 10 summon here with the nine philosopher stones. I'm going to take some, some water here. Mm. So we get a full summon. We get another full summon of a elite and this is Spartacus. Okay. He also looks, um, he's got the shieldman, but he's got the attack, uh, attribute here. So interesting. So we're getting, we got Edward, we got Spartacus. So we're, and we also have Frederick. So we're, we're building up a fire team. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Peter the great is definitely one that I'm interested in some more Richard love to see that and Julius Caesar now Peter let, let me just talk a little bit about what's on the screen here Peter the Great actually seems like a very powerful um lightning element uh immortal like just just looking at what he does based on his skills he looks like a powerful one Richard also lightning so this is a good summon here Julius Caesar I feel like is like S tier like and I, and I don't know anything about tier lists or you know what the top tier players are using in other kingdoms or whatever other servers but um you know being that holy element I feel like there's just nothing that counters Julius Caesar right there's just nothing that counters it except for another team that maybe it's just a higher level like just overall right so Julius Caesar definitely seems like a very top tier um Immortal also seems very expensive to invest in a holy team at the moment, uh, unless they release more holy immortals in the future. So only one thing we got Cleopatra here. We also got, uh, oh, is this Med B? I think her name is, um, I think that's what her name is. And she's a dark, is it darker Sh shadow? Sorry, shadow elite. So there's very few shadow, uh, immortals in the game as well. And shadow actually counters every element except for holy. It's actually counted by holy. So shadow is, you know, I would actually like to invest in shadow because it seems like a really powerful element also seems very expensive. So countered by only one thing, which is holy. Very, very interesting there. She is, if you're going to go with a shadow team, she's a must use. I think because there's only four shadow immortals, I believe. So let's go ahead. We're going to keep summoning. We're going to see what we get from the next one. Again, we're looking for more full elite or I'm sorry, epic drops. We got Gilgamesh. So Gilgamesh is uh, one of the other holy um, elementals. And here we get a full summon of uh, Helen of Troy, which is good. Helen of Troy, it's one of the uh, immortals that I've been using a ton. She's very powerful. She deals a lot of damage. She, my Helen of Troy deals more damage than my Ramses, right? So, and Ramses is, uh, is an epic. So, um, yeah, Helen of Troy, very powerful given, you know, given her rarity. Gilgamesh is the other, again, he's the other holy elemental. So yeah, he should be really powerful. I don't know. Uh, I don't know much more. So let's go ahead and keep summoning. We're going to see if we can get another full summon of an epic. Can we do it? Can we do more than one in one video? Is it even possible? What are the odds? I actually don't know. And who did we get this time? Oh, this is the other lightning guy. Oh, nice. We're getting a lot of lightning support here. We didn't get any full uh, lightning summons for the uh, epics, but this is an elite um, back row, a, a Bauji. I don't know if I said that right, um, but that is very cool. He looks awesome, right? Like he just, the, the design here is just super cool. Like that bow and arrow fires one target, explodes when it hits the target, dealing physical damage to enemies within the range and reducing their magical defense. 
Interesting. Okay, so you would probably want him with, uh, you would want him with a magical front row. I'm speculating there. There's William. William actually looks really cool. He's, I believe, fire element. Um, so really nice there. Joan of Arc also holy, um, a staple in any holy team because you only, again, have four holy uh, mortals in the game. So Joan of Arc is interesting. I actually have her already. Um, I was focusing on her early game when I was trying to figure out how to play, and I thought that was the good play, but uh, it real I realized that it's actually really difficult to invest in holy so kind of abandoned that plan uh, early on what did we get this time we got a lot of fire support it seems like fire and lightning we've got a lot of support for those in this video so really makes me think about what am i going to do next with my account right i um, mean this is how you should be playing it right this is how you should be doing it don't you know and, and it's fun to find an immortal that you love there's King Arthur, um, find an immortal that you love and focus on that and focus on building a team around them. But really, if you want to do it the best way, just try your luck, right? Just, just do pull. This is basically a roulette wheel, right? We're pulling the lever and we're seeing what comes out and then you build a team around what you get. That's kind of the best way. I think to do it now, of course, if there is an immortal that you love, you could just kind of dismantle or disenchant at the alchemy lab all the other ones that you don't care about um but you know there's some diminishing returns there and there it is we got a full epic summon of what is this, king arthur king arthur right king arthur epic dude we got two in one video i can't believe it now he is a wind uh, immortal wind immortal cavalry unit defense uh, attribute um this reduces all damage you receive by 15 or i'm sorry by 10 and a half percent and that's a 60 percent chance of reflecting 15 percent of the damage back at the attacker for six seconds so really interesting this actually what this means is that this the the effect um the effectiveness of this scales with the power of your enemy so if your enemy really outpowers you this is going to deal a lot more damage um of course you, you know it's only 15 percent of that damage so you're still going to get wrecked but uh it's it's nice to kind of punish them for for bullying you which is cool we got some hell of troy here which i love to see i absolutely love that and we're making progress on our Water team, uh, we already have a lot of, of our water team built right now. Honestly, I've, I I shouldn't reveal how much I've already spent on this game, to be completely honest with you guys. Um, there's another Helen of Troy. That's actually incredible. I think we're only one or two skills away from completely getting all of her first skill maxed out, which is insane. Um, so we need as many of her as we can get. So this is really good. This is really good for us. We got some more Barca. Interesting. Okay, so we got more Barca. Let's do another resummon. The other blues here i'm not really interested in if you're a free-to-play player you would probably enjoy these lancelots quite a bit but for me um i replaced him with ramses and ramses is actually doing pretty well uh ramses early game wow we got four epics here so gilgamesh we got more gilgamesh more cleopatra more barca and here's another edward summon um ramses his first like two two or three skills i didn't i wasn't super impressed once i got that third uh that third skill gem on him that's when i started to see him shining because then you could equip another skill on him and then he really starts to pop off so um there's ashoka he's i think fire as well right so we're gonna have to take a look at our immortal list after this and see kind of what we've got because we've summoned a ton in this video so yeah absolutely crazy um we have one really interesting thing here down in the left corner and that is leonidas so oh my god another dude helen of troy loves me she loves me and you know what's great is that once i max out that first skill with her i can just start converting the rest of her shards into other um into other elites that i actually care about right um like brynhild for example i haven't gotten any of her from this so i don't know if she's like an event exclusive or whatever um i haven't gotten any uh, maybe i actually have to be let's be clear i haven't really been paying too much attention to the purples here um so maybe i have but leonidas getting five of him is interesting because in the first 30 days of playing you do get some leonidas for free but i think it's just shy of enough to summon him so i think with this i may be actual i uh, may be actually able to summon leonidas uh when that does when that event does finish i'll have enough potentially to get him and he's an earth element so um really good stuff there so happy to see him happy to see it um and we're going to talk a little bit after all these summons are over as well so let's see what we get here um we got some more edward more barca i'm getting a ton of barca is this helen there it is there she is she pops up okay i'm happy about that i'm happy to see some uh what's her name brynhild am i saying that right um i'm happy to see her she is on my team um she is the weakest link i'm not gonna lie she's the weakest link of my team and uh she is a little bit under skilled compared to helen of troy but even still i'm not seeing the performance out of brynhild as i did out of, out of helen of troy 
at the same skill level and i think that's because she's mostly um she's mostly defensive right she's not super into dealing damage she does a little bit of a stun here um it's a small chance so yeah uh, brynhild really great especially if you're a free to play or, or a low spender but i think um if you can replace her with somebody like ramses um for example or uh what's his name harold or attila obviously they're all epics right and that's why they're better but yeah, as an elite, she's going to be in your front row for a water team. And there's Yi Song Ye. Yi Song Ye, I believe, is a lightning element. And that would be really interesting if I could get a lightning back row to complement some of the other lightning support we've gotten in the video. So let's go ahead and do another summon uh, here. We'll see what we can get. We'll see if we get any more lightning support. I would love to see, not lightning support, water support. I would love to see, I believe, Harold is the epic. Oh my god, we just summoned Barka twice. We just summoned Barka twice. Now, what I want to know is that is that going to give me 60 shards of him? Because that would be crazy. It does. It gives you 60 soul crystals for him. Now, to be fair, you do need a lot of soul crystals to add skills onto these uh, epics, right? You need a ton. You need more than any other. We got some Brynhild here, which is good. But, man, two Barka summons. Um, and I could spend the 15 bucks to get 30 more. So man a wind team are we looking at a wind team after this that could possibly be what i do next um depending on if bark is good or not you know that's another thing um and i could oh wow we got three here three epics there's ashoka again and what did we get okay i is this mulan i don't think i have her i don't actually know if, no i don't is this mulan it is mulan okay so there's a wind we got another wind signs are the winds are pointing in the direction of focusing on the wind element after this um really interesting here really interesting looks badass not gonna lie there's another ashoka more frederick so i think these are both fire if i'm not mistaken is ashoka fire or maybe earth maybe earth um I, maybe i'm mistaken okay so let's go back here we can't oh we can so we can buy the bundle here for king arthur who's wind isn't he wind did we really just summon two wind uh, epics in one video oh my god so we can do even more summoning here okay we can do one more it looks like we'll be just shy of a, of a, of a final so let's see what we get out of this one is it going to be anything insane so we have two epic gems here and there's esong again and more leonidas very cool who is this this is Boudica, i believe who is a earth elemental uh earth element sorry <clears throat> and um yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I Earth doesn't seem too exciting to me, and I could be completely wrong. Earth does completely counter water, just so you guys are aware. Um, so it could be a great investment because if everybody goes water, just go Earth and you counter everybody. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it just seems like a very defensive element and uh i'm more into like dealing damage and i feel i've heard that like wind is really powerful for dealing damage and things along those lines lightning as well so let's see here in the immortals section what can we do so let's go ahead and summon some of these that we don't have now is it really gonna make me watch all the animations oh my god that's that's crazy look at that stomach though look at this gut i feel like if he were in modern day he would drive a bus like he'd be like a bus driver you know what i mean man 35 out of 60 harold i really wanted him peter the great he does look at this look at this purifies enemy targets ahead so he literally removes all buffs in front of him i feel like that's so powerful i don't know um now i have the ability to get saladin who is wind so we've got saladin front row we can do king arthur front row and then hannibal barca is also front row man that sucks i that means one of them <sighs> okay all right i got some things to think about clearly let's go ahead and summon the rest of these canis can canis i don't i don't know oh okay girl get it let's go hey this is a manitore if i'm not mistaken she is a she is a earth element look at that somehow she's a bowman oh she's support that's why this staff is doing work Ooh, pelagius hey okay i know that's not his name in this game it's palayo yeah now remember when you summon immortals go in here and collect your free gems baby collect those free gems you want to do it don't forget to do it i almost did now attila el cid alexander and saladin these all come from the daily bundles right these special bundles the daily deals uh you get attila el cid alexander and saladin from these now where this large gentleman is standing um you actually have the ability 
to get a one-time purchase uh epic immortal selection chest and you can pick which one you want and it gives you enough of the soul crystals to summon them immediately so again we talked about attila is water saladin is wind el cid is lightning and alexander the great is earth so if you're a low spender you would obviously go for attila because that's going to give you a really powerful water front line um but you know you this is where you can kind of decide what's the next element that you want to invest in because you'll immediately get the epic for that element um, or an epic for that element i could go for el cid and have a lightning front row uh, and then i could pair that potentially with some other lightnings that i've gotten some support for right like i'm kind of close to um, peter richard right wow so i have 80 barca still that means that i can add i can develop him and put a skill onto him so it increases the damage by 18 percent interesting okay so now that means if i buy the bundle i can put a second skill on him already wow i'm 10 away from leveling up helen of troy for the last time that's crazy i can't believe how fast that went we can add some more to joan of arc so let's do that wow we can add a lot to edward we can do i think it's two. Oh, we need more gold here okay we're running low on gold on the account already that's kind of sad we can do for frederick that's really interesting so now we've got some fire support moving here we got some fire support brewing in the in the in the game so ooh, we can even put equipment on this guy oh okay i see you i see you let's freaking go man maybe fire's the next maybe fire might be the next wave boys man and these bundles just sit here and taunt me huh they're gonna taunt me for the next 12 hours next vip level we can continue to get zenobia which i which is what i have here perhaps we go earth because we have zenobia so readily available and she does a lot of healing back row support i don't know okay so i've had time to look at some of the skills of what i feel are some of the most important immortals that i got here in this video and then what we're gonna do is try to build a team with them and we'll see what levels we can clear in the well of time okay so the first one obviously is barka now like i said before he's an epic wind immortal let's take a closer look at this skill okay it's called howling blast and it says increases your damage by up to 45 percent and causes cleave which means that each normal attack will cause up to 90 percent damage to an additional nearby target for eight seconds this is really really powerful and i think we need a little bit of clarity here as to how long like this increase in damage how long is this increase in damage is it for eight seconds right do you get 45 percent increased damage for eight seconds after the skill is used like, that seems really powerful right right it seems really powerful but it's not clarified for this first portion now we can pair him with King Arthur and this was the nice synergy that we got here in this summoning round now you guys may remember King Arthur from the Easter event you probably got him for free from then which is awesome this skill is interesting it's called wind ruler okay it says reduces all damage you receive by up to 35 percent and has a 60 percent chance of reflecting 50 percent up to 50 percent of the damage back on the attacker for six seconds so again we don't don't see any clarification on the first part of the skill as to how long do you reduce the damage that you receive I assume it's six seconds because that's the only time frame that we see in the entire skill now what we can see is that we have an attack and a defense front row pairing so normally I would try to go all in on just attack or all in on just defense but having a little bit of a mix of both could be interesting so we'll see how that does now another really interesting summon that we got here was medby I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right so please let let me know in the comments section below what is go okay so she is a shadow immortal all right and the toxic thorns skill is really interesting here okay it says deals magical damage with a damage rate of up to 250 percent to three random enemy units and inflicts disease which means enemies take magical damage up to a hundred percent every three seconds for 12 seconds so i'm thinking if we throw her into the troop composition it'll add a lot of magical damage that we're missing from those front row immortals now you'll notice that i was able to upgrade her three times here which means you can actually add an additional skill from the tower of knowledge so let's head over to the tower of knowledge and you'll be able to see here that one of the recent changes to the game was that they were adding some of these recommended immortals for the skills in the tower of knowledge right because there's a lot of skills here and it could get a little bit confusing if you have no idea sort of what you're doing right you can go in here and some of these skills will actually say which immortals they are good with now it's only going to recommend skills for immortals that you have already put into a troop formation so 
before we go ahead and figure out what skill we want to put on med b let's go ahead and build that troop formation that i was just talking about so we have a slot three here it's open let's go ahead and we're gonna drop in king arthur here in the front row we'll also drop in barca as well now we have med b and we're gonna decide to put her behind king arthur because king arthur was remembered the more defensive of the front row mortals and she's gonna be dealing a lot of damage so we want her as protected as possible now for this last slot here we're gonna drop in robin hood okay he's gonna fill out that uh troop composition and of course for the dragon we're gonna put zephyr okay our boy zephyr in the back row now you may be saying omni arc you don't have five of this same element type what are you doing well if you take a look here the last fifth unit actually only gives you 10% troop HP. Now, if you look at the other stats here that you get for having three and four, that's a pretty big buff, right? You get 20% physical defense and 20% magical defense and 20% attack and 20% magical attack as well. So these are huge buffs, right? But the fifth one is just 10% troop HP and it's really good, right? And if you can min max, that's amazing. And you should be doing that. But for the early game, I think that the 10% troop HP, you can drop that if what you're doing is putting in a a, an immortal like med b because remember shadow counters every single other element besides holy which means even though you're missing out on that 10 percent troop hp she is going to be taking 25 percent less damage from all element types no matter who you're going up against except for holy so shadow sort of has a little bit of synergy in any type of composition if you're only putting one in there right if you're putting like three and two then it starts to get a little bit messy and again we can min max later when we get more immortals but for now let's go ahead and save this troop composition and now when we come back into the tower of knowledge you can see some of the immortals here where it'll recommend specific skills so obviously this wisdom skill just straight up gives you more magical attack and you could see based on med b's skill here that's what she's doing right she's doing a ton of that so you really want to equip a skill to her such as wisdom because it's just going to elevate what she's already good at once you have your troop composition ready to go you can test it out in the well of time and this is a great place to test your troop formations because you're not going to take any deaths so 4-6 battle of fortress says we should have about 18,900 power if you look at our newly created formation it's got close to that a little bit under but i think we should be fine let's go ahead and challenge it and we'll see how exactly exactly this formation does okay so let's go ahead we'll slow this down here just for a second all right let's see how this plays out okay so actually you know what let's turn on auto battle and let's see how well the game performs with our components here so our dragon comes in it deals insane damage to this first wave of enemies you can see completely chunked down with that dragon skill zephyr is a beast i absolutely love it med b over here dealing a ton of damage now honestly if 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 auto battle was turned off i would have saved med b's skill until this second wave because it would have just done way more damage it would have been way more impactful but you can see that we're actually still doing decent now we can see zephyr over here on the other side there's absolutely no synergy with the uh, element composition of the opposing army so we should be pretty good here it's a close fight so who knows we'll have to see hopefully we can get some uh some energy up and we do see that we're getting a little bit of tank now because of um king arthur and that's going to make a pretty big difference when it comes to hp so really nice stuff here you can see we're performing really well we have king arthur popping off again barca is going to pop off his skill as well apply that cleave really cool stuff now we've got a ton of hp so you can see around the 70 uh, 74 percent uh, mark we were neck and neck and those skills on the immortals really made the difference there and you can see uh the tankiness of arthur you can see uh, the back row is pretty healthy right so the front row did its job and now we're going to actually just speed up this part of the uh the siege because we're just crumbling down the wall guys if you found this video informative entertaining or useful in any way make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really does help out the channel a ton and it tells the youtube algorithm that other infinity kingdom players should check out this video if you're new around here make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload an infinity kingdom video and as always comment down below any questions you have about infinity kingdom summoning mechanics immortals anything like that and i'll try to answer as many as i can my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter discord all that good stuff it's always down below as well as a link to download infinity kingdom absolutely for free guys if you've not played this game yet and you're just checking out this video to see what the immortals are like i highly recommend it it's a free to play game and using the link down below helps out the channel a ton with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni arc i will talk to you guys again soon peace